Hello everyone and thanks for tuning back in Alessandro the Crypto here. I hope you're doing all fine. Let's start with today's uh, TA because Bitcoin is still consolidating in this uh, triangle since we had the bottom of $3,800 and currently we topped out here at $10,000. Now the big question is are we able to break out here to the upside and test here the main resistance of $10,300 in order to be shifted towards $12,000 thousand even potentially to 16 or 20 thousand this is the really last step that bitcoin have to break here this ten thousand three hundred dollar and it looks like that we are still shifted to the upside and we are still fighting here this potential resistance up here of nine thousand eight hundred dollar so bitcoin currently is uh, pumping and we are having the 20 moving average in a one hour as a support here during this uh, pump we are in this channel towards nine thousand eight hundred dollar this is also my target to be reached after testing here the support of eight thousand seven hundred dollar again and uh, currently we have a close below the 20 moving average in the one hour but the support here of nine thousand three hundred thirty hold as a support so far so currently everything is still okay and we should be shifted here to the upside and here we're gonna see a decisive a breakout here to the upside or we are getting again rejected and possibly lose here this support that we are creating right now here at around 9370 currently and potentially go down again to test here this uh, support of $8,800. If you want to trade on the safe way then maybe wait for a big breakout here to the upside so break here this 9830 or if we're gonna break out to the downside so if we're gonna lose here this 8800 dollar support then maybe consider to open a short position because the target could be down towards the eight thousand dollar and that's why if you want to trade safe if you're taking a long or a short over on bybit maybe wait for a breakout so in case that you want to take these swings here then wait for this breakout currently i still have my short so if you watched also my yesterday's video and also the live stream you would know that i still think we could be in here for a bigger dump also because we have some bearish signs like uh, here we have the drop of the hash rate we have currently a lot of uh, longs uh, compared to the shorts so i think maybe a little long squeeze is possible at least for the lower time frames and in the higher time frames it's still looking very bullish so i just think that we could be in here for a little washout before we really break out here to the upside and of course it's also possible that we go down to retest here the support and we're gonna have a breakout much later so maybe in the middle of uh, june because this is also where the wedge is gonna end more or less and if we also have a look here on the RSI and the stochastic in the one hour, you can see that currently we're starting to trade below the 15 the RSI. So it is possible that now the 20 moving average is giving us some uh, resistance. We have to see what will happen in the next couple of hours. And stochastic is oversold. So in theory, we should see here the price recover pretty soon again to the upside. Also, we are overshooting it to in the Bollinger Band now to the downside. Now we are retracing back up, most likely to retest here this $9,500 area. MACD is also shifted to the downside. So we really have to wait and see what will happen in the next couple of hours. So I think latest till tonight, we should see a breakout here to the downside or another push here towards $9,800. Dollar. And if we switch over to the four hour time frame, here also you can see that we are still very bullish. We are still above the 20 moving average in the four hour. The moving average is perfectly lining up with our support line. So even if we drop down here, we should have a quite strong support at 9,250. So in just in case that we're gonna lose here the support. So if one four hour candle is gonna close below the 20 moving average in the four hour, then consider to have a retest most likely here of the support of around $8,800. RSI is coming down from being overbought so let's see if we can hold here the 50 level in the RSI stochastic is also overbought so he also here we have some room left to the downside and if we go over to the Bollinger Band in the four hour 
here also you can see that after overshooting it to the upside right now we are retracing back into the middle area so this was the first target 9390 and if we're gonna lose that the next target would be down here at 9150 where we should hold as a support and also the MACD is starting to look a little bit bearish here so it looks like that we are topping out here and we could see a potential bearish cross not yet happened but it is possible so let's see what will happen also here in the next couple of hours and if we go over to the daily time frame here of course still very bullish we are trading above the 20 daily moving average we are above the 15 RSI and stochastic is coming from oversold condition now shifted to the upside and we still have some room left uh, to go here so in theory even if we drop down this 20 daily moving average at 9150 should hold as a support right now and even if we go over to the Bollinger Band, now since we crossed here the middle area and we're trading now in the top region here, we should be more bullish and also we should have here this $9,200 area as a support currently. Before it acted as a resistance, now it should be support. MACD still shifted to the downside. Let's see if we can fire up here to the upside as soon as we're going to have a bullish cross, but it's not yet happened. So also here we have to see if we're going to have this bullish cross or not. Now currently, we are still shifted to the downside here in the daily time frame on the MACD. And of course, we can also have a look on the weekly time frame because also here, similar like in the daily, it still looks very bullish. We have the RSI above the 50. We are trading above the 20 and 50 weekly moving average. And if we go over to the Bollinger Band, also here you can see that currently we're trading still at the topper area. We never came down here. So also here we should have a lot of momentum left to the upside and we could even go up to 11,000. And I think if we go there, then most likely we are also gonna overshooting it to the upside. We're gonna start to build a support of around $10,500 we should have a support there then and we could be in here for new tests of 14 16 and 20 thousand dollar per bitcoin macd is also shifted to the upside so here in the weekly everything is still looking very very bullish if you ask me so if we have a little washout if we're gonna have a little dump here towards eight thousand or maybe lower i think this could be really the last opportunity to buy very cheap uh, bitcoins and therefore you have to be ready trading over on Bybit or Femex, or if you want to put the rest of your fiat back into Bitcoin, this might be the last opportunity for you. And since we're coming to the end of the month and also the CMEs are gonna end this month and we're gonna open a new contract uh, on uh, June, uh, we can also have a look here on the monthly time frame because also here it still looks very, very bullish. We are trading above the 20 moving average in the monthly. So even if we would come down here to $7,700, I think we should be still shifted to the upside and a potential breakout of this main resistance that is coming down here should be inevitable and will happen most likely very soon as long as we are keeping above the 20 monthly moving average. RSI is above the 50, stochastic is coming into oversold condition, that is something very nice to see. So in theory here, if we're gonna have a breakout, we could really see a huge run to the upside and could potentially take out this all-time higher of 20,000 very soon away. All right, guys, and with that said, I'm gonna wrap it up for now. If you like the content, you know what to do. Make also sure to subscribe to the channel because we do daily TA videos and also you can participate to the Bitcoin giveaway that I do with every 500 subscribers. And if you want to trade with the leverage Bitcoin or other cryptos and assets, you can do that over on Bybit, Femex, Prime XPT or BTR. You can use all of these four exchanges. I personally recommend you Bybit. This is my favorite exchange and this is also where usually I trade. And if you use my sign up links, you can get some bonuses, $90 on Bybit for free, 72 on Femex. Of course, to get the full awards and the full bonuses, you have also to put a deposit there. But of course, you can also withdraw it or start to trade with little amounts. So it's not much asked for and you will get this free money so you can start to trade without taking any risk and if you want to mine some bitcoin with your computer you can do that with the kudo miner that's also the miner that i'm using the download code you find down below here because with my code you can get 10,000 satoshi sign up bonuses so while you're working on your computer you can also mine some 
bitcoins as well so thank you very much for watching guys if something crazy is gonna happen i will announce that over on discord so make sure also to join our free discord trading chat and uh, if i'm on the computer i will go live in case that they're gonna change something on my trade or something crazy is gonna happen so make also sure to subscribe to the twitch channel all right thank you very much guys and we see us all in the next one bye